Hi students, we are continuing with the topic of arithmetic progression. So in this video, we are going to deal with the questions based on nth term of an AP game. Listen here, first question. Find the middle term of the AP minus six, minus two, two, etc. up to 58. You can see that this is an increasing AP with the first term A is equal to minus six. And you can see that the common difference is equal to plus four because if you're adding plus four with minus six, we are getting minus two. If you're adding plus four with this minus two, we are getting two and so on. So first term A is equal to minus six and common difference B is equal to four. And the last term, which is nth term is given as 58. So I know that the formula for nth term is A n is equal to A plus n minus one times the nth term is 58. A is minus 6, n minus 1 into d is plus 4. So 58 is equal to minus 6 plus 4, n minus 4. So 58 is equal to 4, n minus 10. So from here, 4, n is equal to 68. N is equal to 68 over 4, that is equal to 70, which means from minus 6 to 58 in this entire AP, 17 terms are there. That's why if 17 terms are there, by common sense, we know that middle term will be equal to ninth term. If 17 terms are there, obviously the middle term will be ex ninth term ninth term will be the middle term for the g1 ap is it clear so that's why ninth term is given by a9 a9 is given by a plus a to d that is equal to a is what a is equal to minus six plus eight into d is equal to four so 32 minus six that is equal to 26 so i can say that Ninth term is the middle term. Why? Because totally in this AP, 17 terms are there. So ninth term is the middle term. I can say that it is equal to A plus AD, which is equal to 26. Now I'm moving to question number two. Question number two says that which term of the AP? 3, 14, 25, 36. So directly I can write A is equal to 3. Common difference D is equal to 11 because 3 plus 11 will give you 14. Will be 99 more than its 25th term. So I need to find which term means I have to find nth term. That is A n is equal to 99 more that is plus 99 than its 25th term. So A 25. So it is clearly given that the required term is 99 more than its 25th term. So I can say that a n is equal to A 25 plus 99. A n can be written by using the formula A plus N minus one into D A n means, I don't know which term of the AP is 99 more than its 25th term. So let me assume nth term is the required term. That's why I'm writing A n is equal to A 25 plus 99. So A 25 can be written as A plus 24 D according to nth term formula, right? plus 99 we can cancel this a and this a from both sides because a minus a will become zero now what else is there n minus one into d so n minus one into value of d is 11 which is equal to 24 into 11 plus 99 so i can tell you that n minus one into 11 let me do this one in a shortcut method let me take 11 from both terms. 24 into 11 is there. If you're taking uh, 11 outside, remaining term will be 24 plus. From 99, if you're taking uh, 11 outside, you'll be getting nine here. So it will become 11 into 24 plus nine. This 11, this 11 can be canceled. Then I'm getting N minus one is equal to 33 which implies n is equal to 34. So 34th term will be 99 
more than its 25th term so that's the answer try to understand the concept try to understand how i wrote the step an is equal to a25 plus 99 an is the required term which is equal to as given 99 more than its 25th term 99 more than 25th term can be written as a25 25th term plus 99 i hope you are okay with the question number 2 now i am moving to question number 3 in question number 3 what is question number 3 1 by x plus 2 1 by x plus 3 1 by x plus 5 are in ap find x so we have to note one point first of all all of you listen here a comma b comma c three terms are said to be in ap implies that there should be there is a condition which should be satisfied which is given by 2b equal to a plus c if a comma b comma c are three terms which are said to be in ap only f to be equal to a plus that's an important point 2 into the middle term is equal to sum of the first and third term here you can see that instead of a i am having 1 by x plus 2 instead of b i am having 1 by x plus 3 instead of c i am having 1 by x plus 5 so 2b means 2 into 1 by x plus 3 As equal to a plus c means one by x plus two plus one by x plus five. So two into one by x plus three is two by x plus three, which is equal to go for cross multiplication. One into x plus five, x plus five plus one into x plus two, which is x plus two. <clears throat> Then denominator is x plus two into x plus five. Now listen. 2 divided by x plus 3 equal to numerator is 2 x plus 7 divided by denominator is x square. If you are opening the bracket, you will be getting x square plus 7 x plus 10. Again, let me go for cross multiplication. What I am getting less than properly. 2 into x square, 2 x square, 2 into 17 x for 7 x 14 x. 2 into 10 20 which is equal to 2x into x is 2x square 2x into 3 is 6x 7 into x is 7x 7 into 3 is 21 now you listen this 2x square and 2x square is getting cancelled because 2x square minus 2x square will become 0 and what else is remaining 14x plus 20 Equal to thirteen x plus twenty one is remaining. Let me take thirteen x to here and twenty to here. What I'm getting fourteen x minus thirteen x is equal to twenty one minus twenty. So x is equal to one. It's an important question. So listen, if three terms are said to be in AP, we can say that to be equal to a plus b should be the condition so try to understand the proper concept x is equal to 1 will be the answer that's the end of question number 3 now let's do question number 4 what is question number 4 the 15th term of an ap is 3 more than twice its 7th term if the 10th term is 41 Find its nth term. It's a good question. What is given? Fifteenth term of an AP. It can be written as a fifteen. That is fifteenth term. Is three more than plus three? Twice its seventh term. That is two a seven. That is two times of seventh term plus three. Now you can see that fifteenth term of an AP is three more than two times of its seventh term. Is it clear? So, which implies a fifteen? We know it is a plus fourteen b. That's a formula by using nth term. A n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. By using that formula, a fifteen is equal to a plus fourteen d. Two into a seven is a plus six d plus three. Now you listen. If I open the bracket, a plus fourteen d is equal to two a. Plus twelve d plus three. What else is there? Ah, uh, what I'm getting. So listen, a plus fourteen d is equal to two into a two a. Ah, uh, two into six d twelve d plus three is there. Now from here I can see that what I'm getting, which implies 
I'm taking this uh, 14D and everything on left side to right side, what I'm getting, zero is equal to, 2A is here, if you're taking this A to the side, it will become 2A minus A, that is A, 12D minus 14D, that is minus 2D plus three. From here, I'm getting A is equal to, take here, positive 2D, minus three. So try to understand the proper concept here. So I hope you are okay with the concept which we have discussed already. I'm getting A is equal to 2D minus two. What else is given? 10th term is 41, which is clearly given that 10th term is equal to 41. Listen properly, question is important. 10th term is equal to 41 means I can write A plus 9D is equal to 41. But what is A? A we got like 2D minus 3 plus 9D is equal to 41, which implies 11D is equal to 44. D is equal to 44 by 11, that is equal to 4. D is equal to 4. Now you listen. As D is equal to 4, that's why what is my A? Already we go that A is equal to Already we got that A is equal to 2D minus 3. We got D is equal to 4. So what I can write A is equal to 2D minus 3. And I'm getting D as 4. Let me apply the value. So it will become 2 into 4 minus 3. That is 8 minus 3, which is equal to 5. So I'm getting A is equal to 5 and D is equal to 4. I need to find its nth term. That's a question. Nth term can be evaluated by using the formula A plus N minus 1 into D. A is 5. N minus 1 into D is 4. So 5 plus 4n minus 4, which is equal to 4n plus 1, will be the required nth term of the given AP. I hope the concept is clear for you. Now, let me move to question number 5. What is question number 5? Question number 5 says that in an AP, first term is 12, right? So I can write A is equal to 12, very easily. Common difference D is equal to six. Last term, I don't know which term is the last term. So let me write A N as the last term, which is equal to 252. We need to find its middle, middle term again. Listen here. A N can be given by the formula A plus N minus one into D, which is equal to 252. What is A? A is given as 12 plus N minus one D is six is equal to 252. If you're taking 12 to right side, it will become minus 12. I'm getting n minus 1 into 6 is equal to 240, which implies n minus 1 is equal to 240 divided by 6, which is equal to 40. n minus 1 is equal to 40 implies that n is equal to 41. As n is equal to 41, I can see that the middle term, middle term will be equal to 21st term, isn't it? 41 plus 1 divided by 2. If 41 terms are there, middle term will be 21st term. So I can write what? A middle term is equal to 21st term, which is A21, which can be written as A plus 20D. What is our A in this case? A is 12 and D is 6. So 12 plus 20 into 6. It is 120 plus 12. That is equal to 132. That is the required middle term. So that's about the fifth question. Now, let me do sixth question. What is the sixth question? The 24th term of an AP is twice its 10th term. 24th term of an AP is equal to 2 times its 10th term. Fine. What else is given? Show that 70's two, 72nd term uh, is 4 times its 15th term. Okay, fine. So from the given information, instead of A24, I can write it as A plus 23. That is equal to 2 into A plus 90. So A plus 23D is equal to 
2a plus 18d. Let me take this a to right side and 18d to left side. What I'm getting? 23d minus 18d equal to 2a minus a. From here, I can write a is equal to 5d. Right. Now, what's the question? Show that 70 second term. So let me find first of all 70 second term. So a 72. What is that? A72 can be written as A plus 71D. That is A plus 71D means instead of A, I can write 5D plus 71D that is equal to 76D. It must be equal to four times its 15th term. Four times its 15th term. So let me find four into 15th term, right? So let me evaluate what is four into A15. So four into, what is A15? A15 is A plus 14D, that is A15. So four into, we know what is A, which is 5D plus 14D is there. It is equal to four into 19D. Four into 19D is equal to 76D. You can see that value of a72 and the value of 4 into a15 both are equal so i can say that a72 is equal to 4 into a15 so the proof is over it's an important question in exam in board exam point of view now we are doing question number seven what is question number seven the sum of the second and the seventh terms of an AP is 30, which means if you're adding second term and seventh term, you are getting 30, which implies second term A2 can be written as A plus D. Seventh term can be written as A plus 6D, that is equal to 30. I hope you remember the formula of nth term, which is given by A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. By using the same formula, A2 becomes A plus D and A7 becomes A plus 6D. From here, what we are getting to A plus 7D is equal to 30, okay? Now, what else is given? If it's 15th term, that is A15 is equal to one less than twice its eighth terms, two into eighth term minus one, that is our 15th term. So listen, what is A15? A15 is nothing but A plus 14D, that is equal to two into A8 is A plus seven D then minus one. I hope you're okay with the step. 15th term A15 is equal to one less than twice its eighth term, one less than two times of its eighth term. So what happens if you open the bracket, all of you listen here, let me do the question. Please listen, try to listen properly. So if you open the bracket, A plus 14D is equal to 2A plus 14D minus one I'm getting, isn't it? So what happens? You can see that this 14D and 14D is getting canceled, right? This negative one I'm taking to left side, it will become positive one, 2A is there. If you're taking this A to right side, it will become minus A, I'm getting A is equal to one. Value of A is equal to one. Now let me rewrite this equation again, 2A plus 7D is equal to 30. 2A is two, 7D is equal to 30. 7D is equal to 28, D will be equal to four. Value of D is equal to four. What is the question? We need to find the AP. So required AP will be what? A, that is one. D is four means it is one, five, nine, et cetera. That is the required AP. This question is also important in exam point of view. So try to learn this one properly. 